Today is so exciting. It's the regional finals and I think the standard is going to be exceptional. The regional finalists were selected by sending in a recipe. This was blind judged and the ones that really got me salivating are in there now cooking. In Birmingham, there are six chefs cooking. But here in London, 12 chefs and we're feeling the heat. Ah, I'm feeling really nervous. If there wasn't a huge amount of sleep had last night. The competitors have two and a half hours to deliver their main course based on the rack of pork, the sweet potato and two kidneys. And a dessert from our mystery basket. The theme is crepes. I love pancakes. In fact, who doesn't love pancakes? And we've given them some wonderful ingredients to go with that. I grew up on crepes. <laughs> We're looking for sort of an all-rounder. Someone who has that classical element in their cooking. Someone that's composed, works in a clean, efficient manner. A chunk of pork and roast potatoes and cabbage would suit me fine, but I suspect we'll get more than that. If I get a bit carried away on the dessert, I'll go down. We're divorcing, yeah? There's a, a sort of a whole range of, of backgrounds from all the chefs. It's the fourth time for one of our competitors. So we're going to see lots and lots of different styles coming through. Rue Scholar not only has to deliver superb food, but they also have to be a mentor in the making and have that character and spirit that is so important. So, not in order, but going through the final, Jordan Anderson. There was a lot of pressure from the chefs, from the judges, from the camera crew looking around. The, the first hour just disappeared. To win the scholarship, it would be unbelievable. It was stressful, it was sweaty, and my word, the end result was worth waiting for. We've got six really talented chefs, and they are raring to go into the finals.